Hello, it's TT11 bringing you a video today where I'm going to show you how to make this little light sensor setup and show you how to use it for your survival and creative worlds. So first of all, I'll explain how it works. Essentially, it uses the output from this daylight sensor here, on here, so it's going to go into the B input of this comparator, which is set to subtract, and it's going to that's going to be taking away from this signal here. And this signal is lower than that at the moment, but when this signal gets low enough, it will let this signal through and give you an output. So if I set it to just before sunset, which is about there, you'll see, and it turns on. And that's because you see now these two are both the same, so it can output, but it is just a one block signal, as you can see there. So, and I'm going to have a cut, and I'll show you how to use this for your creative and your survival world. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to compact what I've already made. So, I'm having a comparator here on subtract mode. Then put a block with an inventory behind it, and half fill that inventory. So, that I use hoppers because it's just got the least amount of slots in it, it's easiest to fill. Two and a half stacks, and that'll give the appropriate signal length. And then, redstone here and your daylight sensor. And that is it. That's all there is for this part which gives you the signal. If you're really a sticker for compactness you can do that, but if you do this you can surround it with some half slabs and make it look a bit nicer. So just get some. Let's put some half slabs on here. It will look nicer and if you want it sticking out the ground you can do something like this. So you put a half slab there, you can let the signal come to here, and then have the light sensor there, so it can be flush on top of the ground. But I prefer it like this. So this signal minus the two and a half stacks in a hopper will give you zero output until you get to night, as I've already shown you. And if you're using this in creative and you want to use it to set the time back to normal, you just have to put in there slash time set maybe 3000, that's just as the sun comes up. Okay, and um, so I'll show you that. I'll show you again time set. That it's going to get just before the sunset and it's going to set it back to the morning again and also have it to uh, maybe clear the weather or do anything else you want to you can do that you can say say hello whatever you want to do it will do that now if you're using this in survival you'll probably want it to just give a normal output once it becomes night so you can just put the repeater there to make the signal of full signal once you've once it becomes night and then you put it into a monostable circuit and have it go through a series of note blocks or just turning your street lights on when it gets dark. So if I do that, see it's just about to get night and your street lights will come on. A pretty good design. Very compact the actual bits only two or two or two if you do that. So yeah. Thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon.